Hi everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be having a look at another Target product. This time it's the Nathan Aspinall Gen 1 Darts, the steel tip version and 24 grams. These are available to purchase from Target's website for £48.95. These have been top of my list to review for quite a while. I quite like Nathan Aspinall's darts. I quite like Nathan Aspinall, to be fair. He's always wears his heart on his sleeve when he's on the stage. But every time I went to purchase these, I seen something else and I purchased them. So I decided, no, I'm going to get them, get them reviewed. So let's do the close-up of the box, get them opened, look at the darts, get them in the board, do the usual section of the board, then do the new school there section, then give them the ratings and review the, the, the review and just wrap it up. So guys, let's get them straight opened, have a look at them. I'm quite excited to see these. I've not opened the box since I got them, so let's get them on the table. As you can see, the box here for the Nathan Aspinall Gen 1s, you've got the Target logo, 24 grams, 90% tungsten steel step, steel step, put my teeth in, you've got the asp going down the left hand side, a nice picture of Nathan on the right hand side looking quite serious, but there you've got the clear window showing the barrels and the stems and the flights fully assembled, you've got a kind of snake print on the box, Telling you again, it's 90% tungsten, pro ultra flights, pro grip shafts. On the side, you've got Nathan's name. On the other side, you've got the pro ultra and the pro grip logos. And on the back, you've got another little clear window, like you see the three flights. Nathan on the back, the ASP, the lifetime guarantee for your barrels, which you register at. There, it just tells you right on the bottom there where to register your darts so you can get lifetime guarantee on the barrels. So let's get them opened, have a look. Just pull a little tab. Out comes the darts and it always, as always with the target, 90% tungsten and above, you get the little foam packaging. Now, in your foam packaging, you'll see sometimes you come and the box is slightly different because these are not Swiss points. The box is different. You get the little just rectangular band of foam to keep the points protected. You've not got a Swiss point tool or nothing to put in here, so it's a different, it's the same foam but a different setup. On the back, you've got your little target guarantee. Now, these are guaranteed at 24.1 grams. Plus or minus 0 0.05. So we'll keep that to the side for when we go to weigh the darts. So let's take them out and have a closer look at them. Oh, keep the packaging away side. So we'll move to them away now. So, as you can see, let's start from the front. It just comes with a standard steel tip. Coming up to the nose, it's a full taper nose, straight up. To the widest point of the barrel and you've got just little lateral slots milled in the front followed by larger lateral slots they actually look a bit like teardrops and I, I had thought about putting some red in there just to make them look a bit more striking but no, I think they look good the way they are so as you can see that's the widest part of the the dart at the front there. So if you're a front gripper, you're, you've got a decent bit of grip on the front, but it's not that. It's just there for, I think, resting your finger. It's not going to give you any grip for propelling the dart forward. It, it'd be quite slippy. Then you've got what can be described as just straight grooves. You've got one, two, three straight grooves on the barrel. So you've got a lot of smooth on the front of this barrel. Then you've got the target logo, 
where it tapers up towards the back and then you've got like micro rings just nice little ring cuts all the way back to the stem so we'll take the stem off and out have a little look as you can see with target darts the thread's always machined very well so this is definitely suited to rear grippers as Nathan is Nathan grips with the rear I grip at the front so it'll be interesting to see how this goes mid grippers you're getting no grip unless you try and adjust to go slightly back to the ring grip because that is just all smooth with the target logo etched on it so let's take some measurements for this dart I actually expected the dart to have more grip on it it's just it's going to be in along the lines of a 2 but I'll not be able to tell until I, I throw it the back isn't as grippy as I thought it would be either Look at that, that's maybe a two and a half. It's just a straight cut groove. It's very flat. There's not much depth to the groove. But as these are designed for Nathan, it's what Nathan throws. And if you want to throw the same dart as Nathan, this is what you're getting. So let's take some measurements. Let's start with the point. Get a trusty wee tool. We'll measure the point. It'll be a standard 26. 25.38, yeah, standard 26. The length of the barrel is 51. Diameter of the barrel 7.4. Now, up to the section with the micro grooves, we're going to take a rough guess at it. That's going to be about 34 millimetres. So if you're gripping this anywhere at the front section like that, you're not getting much grip. You're getting a little bit of you're going to get a little bit of grip from the grooves there, but that front section it's not giving me any confidence whatsoever. But we'll see when we get to the board. So what's the diameter at the back? It'll be down to about six millimetre for the stem. 5.89, 5.88. So overall, it's a it's a shortish barrel, definitely a shortish barrel, and it's coming with short stems, so it's going to suit people that like short darts. As you can see, the stem is definitely a short stem with the number six flights by looks of things. The asp on it, they're nice flights though. So let's put them on the scales and see what we get for the weight and it said it to be 24.1 grams so we'll just check and see if we can get it to that and see if they're matched now on the target website it tells you these come in 22 24 and 26 grams and the difference is not very much the 22 grams is 50 millimeters 24 grams is 51 millimeters and the 26 grams is 52 millimeters the diameter of the 22 gram is 7.15, 24 is 7.35 and 26 is 7.55. But this will all be added to the video at the end. So you can screenshot it, you can pause it, you can do what you want and take a note of it, see what suits you. So first start, 24.16. Twenty four point one three and twenty four point one three. So they're within point zero three of each other. So that's that's definitely well matched. If you want to be picky, you can say, oh, but it says twenty four point one. The twenty four point one three. Twenty-four point one one. Now this could be tiny bits of dust that's in the dart. That's all that can be. So everything is within twenty-four point one. So it can only be a bit of dust, a bit of dirt. It's when it gets to more than point one out. That's when you start to think. Oh wait a minute. So what's this? The weight of a full dart. The weight of a full dart is twenty-five point six two. So. 
all we can do now is we can get them over to the board have a little throw with them do the score a challenge and see how we got on with these so i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna get great results throwing these because when i've already felt the grip i don't think i'm gonna get much grip from the front but you never know until you try so let's go and have a throw First impressions with the Nathan Aspinall darts is they feel really slippy when I'm throwing the release as it's, it's just a little bit different. I'm not getting confidence in throwing them. They're definitely suited to a rear gripper. Front grippers, you're going to struggle with this. As you can see, I'm struggling right now. So I'll do the throwing section, then go into the scolier section and then do a recap at the end of it and stick some music on while we watch the rest of the throne.
So time to wrap up the review of the Nathan, Nathan? Nathan Aspinall darts. As you can see, the throne section, I wasn't that good with them. I was, I was okay. Would I change my darts that I use now? No. I thought I'd have really liked them. But the grip at the front, there's, it's just, it's not there for me. They were sliding, I couldn't get a good grip on them. The rating for the grip on the front is one and a half. The grating, the grating, the grip rating for the middle is one and a half and the grip rating for the rear is two and a half. That's the only bit of grip you're getting guys is at the rear. The front it's just too smooth for me. It was coming out of my hands, funny angles and I just wasn't confident with it. The dart is really short with a short stem, a short barrel. So I would, if I was having an go with these, I would put a medium, at least a medium stem on it with the number six fights. But the value for money rating, these are £48.95 on the Target website. And this is a player dart, remember. This, this is not just a, a, a standard dart. It's a player dart designed for Nathan Aspinall. So it's quite cheap for a player dart. So value for money, it's getting a solid 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, it's, it's a really good value. If you think you could throw these darts, and they will suit an awful lot of people, they are a torpedo shaped dart. They've got grip at the rear. So if you like a torpedo shaped dart and you like rear grip, these could be the, the, the darts for you. Also, while I'm here, as you notice, these are normal points. These are not Swiss points. And I've just recently been informed because I said in my a review a while ago, a target review, that if you break a point, you've got to put it in alum powder to get it out. Now, if you do that with a target dart, your warranty for a barrel, your lifetime warranty, is done, it's gone. It, they, they will not replace anything that's wrong with the barrel. But on the other hand, if you snap a normal point in a target barrel, they will replace, uh, remove that point for you or free, all you do is cover the postage, that is it, you send it to them, they'll remove the point, put a new point in, and send it back to you, you, you may have to buy the points, I, I think, you just need to look it up on their website, on their site, it's a service they offer, I'll get clarification on this, and I'll put it in my next review, but, they'll remove the broken point, they may send it to you back, just with a barrel, with no point in it, I don't know, it's something I will get in, information from from Target and I'll add it in the next video. So guys, overall rating for these darts on the RVB scale and the Echoes are 10 out of 10. You all know that. These have watched my video before. These are a 7 out of 10, which is a good score. It's not a bad score. It's just these are rated on how I like them and I just, the grip wasn't there for me, but they're, a, they're very well machined. They look really nice. They're just not a dart I would use, but they do get a seven and a half, a seven out of ten. So, guys, if you've liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get the notification button so you know about the other videos that's coming out, and most of all, keep enjoying your darts, and I'll catch you in the next review.